The whole uh, background started a while ago. Now we had the Inktober, which creating a big enthusiasm for the whole crowd, uh, which got us thinking, okay, let's throw something a little bit bigger, more structured, that we can actually then see what we can do with these kind of contests. We want to make sure that whatever we pick as finalists or winners isn't just something that's great looking or cool. It's, it's easy to fall for that because there's some beautiful sculptures there. Starting reviewing all these uh, entries, I mean, we got more than 600 entries. What they achieved was actually embracing the Polestar brand and using Polestar as a brief for them to actually then execute their ideas. If you choose a theme like purity or pure, what does purity really mean? And that's a discussion we have a lot in, in our team, because Polestar is about purity in design. I would say it's a very complicated topic to actually design on. It's not just about the what, it's about the why. These designs had to be products that exist for a reason. The contest was absolutely amazing. It's been such a journey. It's been super positive. The fact that I've been establishing communication with all these different designers, both students and professionals from all over the world, because we have such a variety and mix of different countries. Uh, so it's been really nice to, to connect with them. Hi, Conrad. Hello. I have to say, it was really difficult to, to decide who the winner was going to be. The quality of the projects was extremely high. They all deliver in a very sort of Polestar uh, design approach. So it was, it was very linked to the brand. However, when it, when it comes to deciding on who the winner was, we were looking more for the, the essence, the story of each one of the projects. Nowadays in design, the thinking matters. It's an awesome project, it's very strong. And with all that, we would like to tell you that you are the winner. <laughs> Congrats, <laughs> job well done. Conrad is an excellent example. It's an electric autonomous car, which have a large ramp in the rear opening and making that accessible for everyone, as well as looking awesome. On the student category, we have Sidesh a Zeppelin in another good example. Of course, his design is very poster, but it also allows people to explore Arctic environments in an environmental friendly way. And then last but not least, we have Arthur's boat, which he got an honorable mention because he really managed to capture our design language in a completely different environment. <laughs>